Fred here. Welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. I'm still outside. It's still nice out. In this episode, I will be reviewing a browning knife called the Illusion. And here it is. The model number is 372. It is the silver version. They have like different color uh, versions of this. This is the silver one. Now, the price on this for me was almost $40. I bought it because I thought it was a really cool looking knife when I saw the picture on the interweb. And when you even look at it in real life, it's a, a pretty nice looking knife. Now, it's a liner lock. It has steel liners. And these liners are very thin, by the way. And then you have a aluminum scales over that and this does come in different colors this is the silver even though to me it looks like it has a um, kind of a brassy look uh, I don't know it, it's slightly a little bit of red tinge in there I don't know how to describe that copper or something I don't know but it's silver now the clip feels uh, kind of chintzy. I'm not crazy about that clip. I'll give you a good close-up there of that. And we'll go ahead and deploy it. Now, it has a deployment hole, but it's sort of like a skeletonized blade. So it has a, a pretty lengthy hole there. And I'll go ahead and deploy this. It is not assisted opening, but it is a liner lock. And there's your blade. So the skeletonized the drop point, and the blade is OS8. OS8. So for forty dollars, you're getting OS8. That's pretty good. I think that's good for the money. Now the liner lock itself is again very thin because your liners are thin. This liner lock is very thin. Now it's pretty tight. There's no play up and down, side to side. Now to unlock it to, to push that liner over it takes a significant amount of pressure this is uh, what you would expect from a cheap knife not from a $40 knife um, it, it puts a little debt in my finger there after pushing that liner so it's I mean it won't close on you but you know usually uh, a knife of this cost doesn't require that that amount of pressure to push the liner out so that's kind of disappointing too there's a generous lanyard hole there um, the clip cannot be moved from its installed position so this, this is a knife for righties and that's it there is some jipping on top of the blade those of you who enjoy your jimping, <laughs> there it is. And there's a little bit of jimping on the liner lock. So while you're you're pushing there with all that pressure, you're pushing into that rather sharp jimping into your finger. But you know the design with some of the see those holes right there in the scales? It sort of almost has a Ken Onion look. The Ken Onion designer. Um, for Kershaw it sort of has some influence on this so I don't know I am not too crazy about this you know for for me I would give this a six and there you know there's some other issues with this for a $40 knife I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this but you know you could see like some machining in the handle there you know it's not cleaned up very well and again, you can take a close look and see how thin those liners are. Give you a close up of the liner lock there. Um, did I say it was made in Japan? This is made in Japan. It's not in China, but it's not in the U.S. You don't see too many knives made in Japan these days, except for our favorite one, Spider Co. Right? I know a lot of you fans are Spider Co. Uh, like myself, so. I mean, I'm giving this a week six, basically. I mean, or a strong five because of 
you know, some serious issues here with a $40 knife or the clip and the liner being thin and the liner lock being hard and to pull. That that's a a lot of issues for a knife that is easily 40 bucks. I made in Japan. Japan's supposed to be a lot higher quality. I would expect this from a cheap Chinese knife. But you know, I'm I'm holding the the review up here a little bit only because you don't see too many browning knives in, in my collection at least and it does look very nice it's aesthetically pleasing it's very unique so there it is and that is my review my opinion on the uh, browning illusion model 372 the silver scaled edition. If you uh, like to comment, there is a section provided below. And again, I appreciate all viewers, friends, and subscribers. I hope you have a great day. Fred here. Welcome back to the Gear Obsessed. <laughs>